big story here in Palm Springs. Three people now charged with a corruption scandal at Palm Springs City Hall. They are former Palm Springs Mayor Steve Pounier and developers Richard Meany and John Westman. Uh, combined, they now face 30 different charges. Our Kitty Alvarado was at the news conference this morning that wrapped up at about, uh, I think, 25 or so minutes ago. She's live now from Riverside with more for us. Good morning, Kitty. Good morning, Janet. Well, the DA said that this was the culmination of an exhaustive 17-month-long investigation, and the citizens of Palm Springs deserve open and honest government. The three men face 30 charges that include accepting and receiving bribes, conflict of interest, perjury, and conspiracy to commit bribery. The bribes totaled $375,000 paid to, to the former mayor, Steve Pounier. The DA said the men were pretty brazen in the way they made and accepted these bribes, and shell companies were used. This has put the downtown redevelopment project in jeopardy. If convicted, the former mayor could face 19 years in prison and be barred for life from holding public office, Meaning and Westman are facing 12 years, and all three men are expected to surrender themselves in the next few days. Uh, the individuals charged are Stephen Pounier, Richard Me, and John Westman. Uh, counts 1 through 18, and, and uh, you should have this in your press packet, but I want to just go through and explain what, what it is. Counts 1 through 18 uh, involve bribery. There's they come in pairs, starting with counts one and two. So, for example, count one uh, alleges that Stephen Pounier, September 21st, 2012, uh, committed a violation of Penal Code Section 68, which is essentially receiving a bribe. And then count two would be uh, alleges that Richard Meany and John Westman committed a, a violation of Penal Code Section 67, which is, in a sense, offering a bribe. Uh, I do want to tell you that all three individuals have agreed to surrender, and we have um, been in contact with the, all three of their attorneys, and all three of them will be surrendering within the week. Now, he also did tell us uh, after the conference was wrapped up that he was going to ask, ask their attorneys for them to surrender their passports just in case they do pose a flight risk. But they also tell us that the investigation does continue on a state and federal level and federal charges could be coming. Reporting live from downtown Riverside, Kitty Alvarado, KMIR News.